We're going to start this afternoon with our top story. Hi, everybody. I'm Kate Bell Schofer. Thanks for being with us. We continue to follow the calls for Governor Cuomo's resignation following allegations of sexual harassment by three women. A lot has happened over the course of the past few days, and we have team coverage throughout the night to keep you up to speed on this. So today we learned there are reports that Democratic leaders are working to finalize a deal that would rescind the governor's executive powers that were given to him last year to help manage the pandemic. That could lead to a vote as early as this Friday. We're going to keep you updated on that information as it rolls in. But first, we're going to start our coverage with two on your sides, Jeff Preval, who tells us the support behind the governor is becoming pretty thin. Well, another day has gone by with no media briefing from Governor Andrew Cuomo. He has not given a briefing in a number of days now. This as some members of the governor's own party want to see him either resign or be impeached. Congresswoman Kathleen Rice, a Democrat and former downstate county district attorney, believes Governor Cuomo should resign. A group of downstate Democratic lawmakers want to start impeachment proceedings against the governor, saying that the accusations of sexual harassment against the governor shows, quote, the governor Cuomo uses his power to belittle, bully and harass his employees and colleagues. Today, Erie County Executive Mark Polenkars characterized the latest allegation against the governor as creepy. And it was just creepy to know that the governor uh, allegedly asked a woman who he had just met, may I kiss you, and put his hands on the on the head of the individual. I now we have reached out to all Democratic state and federal lawmakers asking them whether they support the governor and whether they believe he should resign. Many of them did not get back to us. Assembly Majority Leader Christopher People Stokes issued a statement today saying in part with great power comes great responsibility as a longtime public servant. This quote is what I live by. It reminds me that in my position, I must hold myself to the highest standard. Governor Cuomo is required to do the same. If the allegations of the past few days are true, he has failed to hold himself to this standard. Now, spokespeople for Assembly Member Monica Wallace and Senator Sean Ryan referred us to previous statements both have made supporting the full investigation into the allegations against the governor. In Buffalo, I'm Jeff Perval, Channel 2 News.